to death and I am already dead. You're boring me back to death. <laughs> <laughs> Some potential relief for the city's restaurants that are struggling during the pandemic. Council members voted today to approve a surcharge that many owners have been proposing for years. CBS 2's Corey James joins us live from Hell's Kitchen with how this all impacts you. Corey? And Christina Maurice, this is all happening after a recent national survey was conducted by Yelp, and it determined that 60% of businesses, restaurants rather, that had to close for COVID-19, closed for good. And that is something New York City officials are hoping to prevent from happening more of here. If you're thinking about doing indoor dining in New York City, start thinking about possibly spending more money. Wednesday, the City Council passed legislation allowing owners to add an up to 10% surcharge to your tab. Hearing that, how do you feel? I think that's a little unfair. I'm willing to pay. If people can't afford it or don't like it, then they can take a day off of, you know, eating each night. The COVID-19 recovery charge applies to independently owned restaurants and would be effective immediately, but would expire 90 days after the start of full indoor dining. A decision the assistant manager of Takuba in Hell's Kitchen believes will help with the overhead costs caused by the pandemic.